Hey guys, Blue Blind Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Skadoosh. Eric. And we're back with Kung Fu Panda 3. Yep. We've done one and we've done two and four is approaching. But we have to finish the... Uh, the Three is approaching right as now. well. I have my notes for it's impending. the first one. I have my notes for the second one. And I'm ready for this third one. I'm going to keep them around for that fourth. I have them as well. They're all right here. And I don't have to have a bunch of paper that I could lose or anything. Like, see, look at all these notes. Or burn. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the, the, the fear of losing them is what makes them precious. <laughs> But anyway, I'm about to make them more precious, Eric. Uh, previously on. <laughs> okay, so previously with Kung Fu Panda, we had uh, Poe who met the Fear, uh, the Furious Five. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what they called. I feel like that's wrong though. Um, and, like uh, and his master Shifu. Master Shifu, mm -hmm. Master Ugwe. Ugwe has passed. Mm -hmm. Um, Uwe has ascended. We had an old disciple of Shifu that we defeated. Mm -hmm. The crane. Because he became the dragon warrior. Yep. No, not the crane. The no. tiger. Remember oh, the, the, okay. The yeah. Tiger? Uh, yes. tail, tail Long. Yes. Yeah. And long tail. Into the second the one. The second one was the crane. Where we learned yep. why Poe was like the last panda, mm -hmm. why he was adopted mm -hmm. by his bird dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, and went through all that, which was a lot of fun story. Very yeah. kind of Moses y. Yeah. Very much <laughs> in a, so. In a way. And then we saw the land of milk and honey at the end, where the pandas still thrive and live, including yeah. Poe's dad. Yeah, <laughs> so it kind of left us with a little bit of like a, what? I'm sorry, So his biological father, sure. not his daddy. Yeah. But anyway, I'm excited. This is going to be the third in this series that, again, I kind of wish I could just go back and give to young Eric. <laughs> right. But yeah. adult Eric's enjoying it too. Well, good. And hey, Calvin, you haven't seen this one either, Nope. Have you? Yeah. Nope. There's there's at least a scene in this that I've been waiting for two movies, and okay. I'm like, well, I guess it's in the next movie. And then it was in the second movie, and I'm like, oh. well, I guess it's in the third movie. It's gotta so, be in this one. I know I've seen something within this, but yeah. I don't remember the full storyline of this or anything. Okay. So I'm excited to see. The second one, I don't think I had ever seen. Yeah. Which was really fun. Interesting. And the okay. fourth one, I've not seen yet either. All right. Well, I'm excited. Clearly. Let's get started. There will be a full length available for the whole movie, so you can check that out down in the description below. Head over to blindwave.com and, yeah. uh, and or patreon.com. You'll be able to find all the links to that. But uh, we'll be watching this off of Prime, I believe, right? Prime, yes. So, indeed. let's get started. I'm liking it. 2D mixed with 3D. Stairs. Still his greatest enemy. Yeah, they took a risk, and this is the whole animation style of the movie, though. Just side-scrolling. <laughs> DreamWorks. Nice. No. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> Dude, DreamWorks changes their intro so much over the years. Like, mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Oh. oh, his nose is up there. I always forget. Is this where he dissolved into flowers, too? No. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. Yes, this is how we start. Kratos. Ugly versus the God of War. Kai. Old friend. Nope, Kai. Master Ugwe. I love that design. I love both the designs. Ah! This was what I felt robbed of. Oh, yeah! Master Ugwe. Yeah. Holy crap! Yes. That's cool. Whoa! He threw a word at him. years in the spirit realm. Spider Man! Oh my gosh. Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> he did a Spider Man thing. It was never my destiny to stop you. I have set another on that path. <gasps> Master oh. Way. You got him and they took him away again, Eric. Well, maybe <laughs> his. I will find him and take his chi too. Maybe. Uh, he can go to the. That's so cool. Ugly can come back. Out of the sun! Ooh, look, it's so beautiful. Look at this. I've always enjoyed these, like, split frame yeah. things. Wow. No! Okay. Boom. You can take it. We'll have two justice platters, please. Um, three. Three. And a few tofu buns. Oh, the spicy noodle soup or tigress. Did oh, you spicy want noodles. Sauce that? She wants it on the side. On the side. On the side. <laughs> but is it time for justice? <laughs> Dude, the lighting's so good. Yeah. Defend the valley. Do we have to strike a pose every time we land? 
You guys never underestimate the power of a dramatic entrance. Right. I've heard about some Jimmy, of course, understands this. Just by throwing open a door. <laughs> dramatic entrance. Whoa. Those ducks were ready. Fuck yeah. Ah, this is their old training room. What's the occasion? Today will be my final class. Your final well, shit. Class? I didn't even know you were sick. Is retired? Your training will be in the hands of the mm. Dragon Warriors. Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me show you another move. The dramatic <gasps> What's that? Where'd he go? <laughs> Everyone else saw it. Where'd he go? All you have to lose is our respect. <laughs> oh, fuck. How will we put it? Ah, oh, stress now. Tigress, tornado backflip. Yes, master. <laughs> oh, time. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> oh, my claw thingy. My claw thingy. <laughs> he doesn't even know what his own thing is called. Monkey's uh. tail is broken like four different places. <laughs> What a loser. What was Shifu thinking? What was Uwe thinking? Fuck. He's dying? He has saved everything. <laughs> I think he heard us. I didn't hear anything. Uh, he said you're a loser. <laughs> Damn archers are I'm so mad. Take that duck and... Cook their goose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what was Uwe thinking? Uh, he died. Did you stop doing that? How was your first day teaching? Terrible. Humiliating. Incredible power awaits you. Power beyond anything you can imagine. Is power of the sun? No, power of life. So you're saying if I teach, I'll be able to do cool stuff like that? No, I'm saying if you teach, I'll be able to do cool stuff like that. He needs to find inner peace, right? Whoa! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's real cool. I like his music. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love his blues design. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna make place. If I stepped on you, would you die? <laughs> That's a lot of eggs. The mortal realm. Definitely J.K. Simmons, right? Yeah. There's a couple lines early on that threw me off, but yeah. He, 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 it's expanded. It's a lot, you know, more, uh... Whoa! Oh, he took their cheese so he can control them? I know that's why I won't find you were like, Spider-Man! No. <laughs> I didn't place the voice then, but there was a time where I heard something. Who's eating my dumplings? And who's paying for them? And who's paying for them? Oh. 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 Papa? I'm Lee Shan. I'm looking for my son. You lost your son? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Many... <laughs> I lost my father. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Good luck to you. <laughs> You too. <laughs> I hope you find your son. And I hope you find your father. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> son? Oh my gosh, it is you! Oh. Uh. Come here. Oh. Oh, thank you. Aww. Thank you for taking such good care of my son. Your son? Look at that! <laughs> Our bellies could be brothers! <laughs> Belly goes! <laughs> what? It's like looking in a fat mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's doing his voice? You don't recognize it? No, who is I it? do, but... Uh, Brian Cranston. Okay. Yeah. But be super careful. Everything's very fragile here. <laughs> Whispering warriors. Yeah. Someone broke that. Yeah. Thanks. Who? Some idiot. Some wow. idiot. <laughs> like it was like glued back together. Yeah, we got it on. Ah, Dad, what are you doing? We're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry, sorry. I wonder what this does. I should pull it. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> Why does it have oh. a flag on his head? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, don't break 
all these legendary items. You got me. Dolphin style of retreat! <laughs> Go wrong, <sir. laughs> Oh! You better clean this place up. I'm glad they're having fun. Oh no, at the door. It's just nailing pandas. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's so awkward. <laughs> Who's gonna get you? Wait, <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> What's the deal with the green guys? So these are previous kind of masters, Jade right? Zombies. Jade zombies? It's like oh, fighting oh. the previous Kazakages oh, in Naruto. Yeah. yeah. The Master Basher twins with their crushing double gong technique. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one! <laughs> yeah! I love how he's excited to get beat up by these guys. The porcupine shoots, shoots his, his own quills. Oh, yeah. that's so cool! Get a quick sketch for us. Quick sketch. <laughs> <laughs> the pig's face is so funny. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> oh, I blinked. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. They had to start drawing that like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude with Viper around yeah, him. Yeah, <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> oh, I can speak through them. I see you. Where is it? There's so much wisdom in here, I can't find anything. So much yes. wisdom. Behold. What? It's blank. It's blank. Are you kidding There's me? Not again. Are all these scrolls uh, empty? They don't roll, write anything down. Wait, wait, hold, hold on. Sorry. Oh, okay. Just didn't go far enough. I was an ambitious young warrior leading cool. a great army. Oh, okay. Until we came to a secret village mm. high in the mountains. He saw that what could be given could also be taken. <laughs> Stop him. Oh, I want to see a full battle. I can teach you, son. <gasps> you can do this? Those 103 dumplings? <laughs> I was just warming up. Oh. I've always felt like I wasn't eating up to my full potential. <laughs> you can't take Poe away from me. I'll pack your lunch for the road. Oh. Okay. Master, what are we going to do? You are going to find out where Kai is. Why me? Is it because I asked? No, it is because he can fly. He can fly. Oh. Should have kept your beak shut. <laughs> and take Mantis. What? Oh, when? Is it because I... Yes. <laughs> it is because you spoke. It is because you asked. Or made fun of. Oh, my claw thing. <laughs> I love that. He could have just said claw or scythe or something. And we'd have been like, oh, yeah. But it was like he didn't know what it was. Though. Yeah. Dad? Yes. Dad? Yes? <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing? <laughs> Getting a backache. Did you have to step on every rock? I guess it would be cruel to make you fly back. <gasps> you can fly? I'm a bird, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> on an adventure with both his dads. Yep. This is a secret panda village. <laughs> No wonder you keep it a secret. <laughs> if I live here, I wouldn't tell anyone either. <laughs> I cut through that fog and that cold. Whoa. How green that grass is. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that baby panda. Look at his cheeks. <laughs> they stick out further <laughs> than his nose. <laughs> 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 they all fell. That's pandas. Why are we running? <laughs> oh, buns on a string. We call it a snack list. That's right. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, we'll make you another one. <laughs> it's you. So oh, good. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hi. You're like me, but old. You're like me, but fatter. <laughs> You're like me, but. Oh, oh, Steve, <laughs> with a hat. <laughs> we roll. It's oh my true. God, <laughs> it's true. Why do they still have rocks on that hillside? I mean, oh. Oh. see, going with the flow is probably the secret of chi mastery. You have a funny neck. I'm not a panda at all. What's that? My hat. What's that? My beak. What's that? My wing. What's that? My dumplings. 
A show. Oh my. What is this feeling? I know what you're thinking. Yeah. How can one panda be so beautiful? <laughs> she, she has his confidence. For me? Ugh. Oh my god. That's how I felt. I felt the other day. Mei is uh, Kate Hudson. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's Croc. Mr. Kifu strongly advised us. What? Not to engage. You gotta get in there. But Master Shifu You're said... seriously afraid? Even Master Chicken's going in there. And he's a chicken. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Razor feathers. Croc is still uh, Jean-Claude. That's okay. the one from the last movie. No. Nintendo power! Okay. Ah, it didn't work! Dude. Run. Fly. You can fly. You gotta get out of there now. Wings of duck. Run, run. Wings of duck. Great. Oh, that's the number one is go back to bed. Of course. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. <laughs> 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 Connecting to his inner panda. So, when do you think I'll be ready? Ready? You know, to learn how to master chi. Soon. Real soon. Hmm. Yeah. I was worried about that. Sorry. Is this my mom? You don't have to worry about losing me ever again. Okay? Let me get some of that. <laughs> Where did you come from? She has a sense. <laughs> I think that one's Newman, Eric. Is it? Yeah. Wait, Knight? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Master Ox. Master Eagle. All of that. And all the masters being taken out. Yeah. Dramatic pose. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. One shot. There we go. Cheap. Oh, activated crane. He hasn't even pulled out all of them. And Mantis. Oh. I love you. He's so cool. Don't want to get in your head, oh, buddy. No. No. Oh. Shifu. No, oh, we're gonna lose more. Terrible boy statue. Jeez. No. The Jade Temple. I uh, didn't like the stairs anyway. Protect these people. And he's feeling true peace now here. Maybe that's the key. Huh. Oh, well. Tigress? There goes the peace. Yep. I am ready. Not quite. What are you talking about? I've done everything you've asked. I've mastered napping, sleeping in, hammocks, hot tubs. I am totally at one with my panda parts. Now, why won't you show me? Because I don't know it. I just wanted to get you home, man. I lost you once. I am not going to lose you again. I can't. But he's coming here. You just did. I mean, after the one thing about the mom and stuff, I kind of get the dad's point of view a little bit. Sure. Right. But lost all in one moment. But yeah. Oh, I'm so worried for you that I can't even enjoy being right about everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, those moments. The Cabbage Lord. 
I love seeing like the progress he had from the first one, you know, like he couldn't do that before. No. And what did the tree do? You weren't the only one who was lying. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't really come along because I was worried Paul would go hungry. <laughs> I was worried about you. But I realize having you in Poe's life doesn't mean less for me. It means more for Paul. Well, your son got mad at you. Welcome to parenthood. <laughs> you don't understand. I lied to him. He'll never forgive me. I lied to him for 20 years. He still thinks he came for the name. Sometimes we do the wrong things for the right reasons. Just had like a really like weird train of thought about a goose laying a pan egg cooking with eggs <laughs> you not just me us all of us the fog is so convenient to teach us. <laughs> I can't teach you kung fu I couldn't even teach tigress and she already knows. <laughs> I was gonna say. That's so funny. I don't have to turn you into me. I have to turn you into you. That doesn't make any sense. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. What are you good at? What do you love? What makes you you? Hmm. What are they good at? They can roll and they can hack you. Good. Now try it with these. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Oh. Grandma! Oh, grandma! <laughs> oh, look at that. Panda army with the sun. Please. Yay! They are ready. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tigers are so <laughs> That's such a worried face. <laughs> Why was he like covering himself? I'm going to take your chi, then the chi of every panda in the uh, chit chat. In the shitty chitty chat chat in chat chat chat. <laughs> in the chit chat. Oh, you pudgy little. Oh, you messing around. Uh, Why don't you just fight me on your own, huh? Dude, he's like Shank's son. <sighs> he has so many. Yeah, yeah he does. Oh, oh. oh no, it's true. It's a lot to fight at once. Yeah, yeah it's like and here 10. Oh Bam! My God. <laughs> nice. Seriously? We did it! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Green. <laughs> 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 that did <not> I don't know <laughs> who you so are either. <laughs> She's taking on the Master Badger twins yeah. or whatever. Yeah, that's great. She's a good dancer. That guy's still hugging people. Oh, oh, Master Shifu! Uh, 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 I can't hit Shifu! Ooh, the sound messes with me. Oh! <laughs> I can! Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's like the rhino sick Dad Voltron! <laughs> it is Dad Voltron. <laughs> oh! Skadoosh. Okay, that didn't work. Let me try one more time. Skadoosh. It only works on mortals, and I am a spirit warrior. And fight on ice. Yeah. <laughs> and you? <laughs> you really thought you could send me back to the spirit realm? But I can take you there. What's that? The dramatic exit. Oh, son. Skadoosh. No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh. Sweet. Oh, thanks, Kenny Thoughts. <laughs> here it comes. Oh, here that comes. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not that way. This way. Oh, jeez. Oh, you gotta, you gotta do something. 
You taught us who we were meant to be. A father. A dumpling kicker. Yes. A fighting machine. A hunger. <laughs> they can Another give Chi a family. Mm. So cool. Crack that, Jade. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> He's got a cool outfit. The Dragon Warrior. Oh. <laughs> so cool. The 3D Druid. I am the Dragon, the oh. dragon Warrior. Get it? See the giant dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Belly gone. No. Butt slap. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> Just fly around. I will have yours if it takes me five hundred more. Kitty, kitty, chat, chat. Chat, <laughs> chat. <laughs> 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 then take it. Oh. Oh. Yes. It's too much. It's too much. No. Dang. He's blow up. Oh, yes. You finally became the panda you were always meant to be. But how'd you know I could? On the first day we met, I saw the future of Kung Fu. Yeah, he Train. had experience yes. with bandas. Yeah. And my true successor. I can't, I can't take that. Just take it. I have a bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can go back? Who knows? I've never tried. Oh, Mr. Peace. He gets all of his cool hat and cape and stuff. Now that's an entrance. He can fly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, oh, well. He can roll. Dad. Dad. Oh, son! <laughs> Uga gave it to me in the spirit realm. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> I think I mastered Chi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you teach me? Oh. <laughs> Call back to the first movie again. Yeah, the credits of the first yeah. one. Everyone's mastered their chief. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Kung Fu Panda 3. What do you think of uh, Kung Fu Panda 3? I, I, I had a lot of fun. I mean, I it doesn't have the... Uh, um, I think I like Kung Fu Panda 2 maybe a tiny bit more just in terms of like the actual fight scenes and stuff. But this one had a lot of spirit, a lot of heart, a lot of family. Ha, <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Yeep. Ha, <laughs> ha, Yeah. No, I think... Uh, a lot more characters, definitely. The Kung Fu Panda series does a really good job, too, of like... It, it takes like, here's a villain that may or may not be directly related to Poe, mm -hmm. right? Like, the closest one that's directly related, I think, is the second movie. Yeah, I would say so. Um, but yeah. tying it in with history and backstory of Poe and us learning more about him in the yeah. process of it, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. thinking, like, the, the pandas, like, I like that this ties in with the first movie where Uguay, like, oh, I picked you to mm -hmm. be it. But as an audience and as the rest of them, they aren't aware of the story of him and Kai His deep history having been masters. saved by the yeah. pandas and having experienced the mm -hmm. chi and what they could do and being like, well, if someone who could be a bridge between these two of Kung Fu and yeah. Chi, like you would be a great yeah. dragon warrior. And it would make sense that the pandas lost that because they were so isolated, they weren't afraid of anything really, right? Uh, so they didn't have to come together as that family to, to give Chi. So they, it, it's just one of those things where like they weren't sharpening that sword and they kind of lost it. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
but it was just uh, it was cool to to watch it uh be rediscovered and have ping there do it as well that was cool yeah i kind of thought of it as like this tremendous power this secret they've had for years and years and years and you know it finally got out someone else stole it and was using it for bad reasons i figured they were like uh well maybe we just don't use this anymore maybe and we hope like no one else has it either Mm -hmm. Uh, it seems like they just forgot it yeah i was wondering what was going to be going on with uh with with his father lee because you know usually something like that happens and you know you don't want to try to predict too hard just in case you ruin the movie for yourself but Mm -hmm. there was a part of me that was going like something's up with him something there's something there it's too good to be true but it just was a matter of this is a guy that has had one ba- bad day in his life. Every day since then, he's been trying he's been to make sad. up for it. Yeah. 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 And lying about it is no problem because, I mean, even Poe's other dad has no problem lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he still thinks he came from an egg. <laughs> <laughs> no, and there's a couple of things, too, that are kind of neat where, like, it talks about the, the finger hold, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how it, like, sends you the spirit realm. Mm-hmm. And one of the jade amulet things that's on his like on uh, Kai like you can it looks like uh, Tai Lung oh okay so like there's the implication that like after he did the finger hold in the first one he was sent to the he spirit was sent world, to the spirit realm but then, then Kai at some Kai point got him. took him and hmm. used his chi and yeah. stuff too there's just there's a few like they mentioned uh, what Eagle and uh, Master Lizard mm-hmm. or whatever and they, he never uses them there's just yeah. some of them that we don't actually see their sure. like zombie counterpart yeah but he has some extra like chi amulet yeah. things of them too does that mean that he would return to the mortal world then because he wasn't killed and sent to the spirit world well but the finger hold sent him there so whenever kai got him he would have already been in the in the spirit world as opposed to some of the other ones that came back he captured them while in the mortal realm not in the spirit world okay so i don't think so i think the finger hold sends you there maybe like you're dead right like i don't think poe would have come back had so it's it not like a, been for the chi and for him trying to come back and doing that ritual sure. on his own. Ugwe said that he never went back because he never felt like he wanted to. He never tried. He also purposely went there in the first movie, right? Like sure. he like retired himself. It was kind of like, yeah, yeah, it was like he felt like it was the end mm-hmm. of his time and he was moving on. But yeah. I mean, he talked about how he if, like, attempted to, he fought Kai, what, 500 years ago, he said here. So like how yeah. old it was he before. He defeated he, him 500 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And he wasn't like. A baby then you know yeah. he had some years in him well yeah i mean turtles tortoises they can live for hundreds and hundreds of years yeah so he was pretty old yeah they recently also just found a a shark that they believe is almost 400 years old as well yeah it's nuts 400 year old shark yeah shark. older than the united states yep that's crazy yeah i love the uh Eric, you said about two, but I was watching. I, I love the porcupine where it's like he, has, was, a, he has a bow, yeah, and he can just mm-hmm. pull one of his yeah. quills and shoot those too. So it's like it's like he's grabbing arrows from his back, but it's from just a, his from own a quiver. It's his own <laughs> yeah. quill, you know. One of my favorite things quiver. about the series is the yeah the the animal styles that they get to have. I, I almost wish that they would have went even way further with previous masters and seeing different ways that these animals can fight even more. You know, yeah. it wasn't. I'm not saying it wasn't there, but. I almost wanted it to happen more, you know? Like, yeah. whenever they had Nishifu come out and fight to fight Poe, like, I kind of thought that was going to be bigger, more, you know? Like, Shifu's already such a... Such a powerful... A powerful character. I thought, like, yeah. well, devoid of will, and it's just, like, his skill being turned against him. But I guess that's kind of the point, too. Like, they're not truly them. It's just their chi and just their power. So maybe they're not as effective when they're not in the driver's seat. Sure, yeah. You know? I did kind of think like, oh, they took the masters on pretty, pretty well. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem like it, they have all of their what they're. We, would you would assume their skills of being a master would yeah. be right. Yeah, but I mean, that, I guess that only makes sense. Like, if it's if being a master at that caliber is truly about balance, then they're not balanced. No, yeah, they're, they're not. They don't. They're not balanced yeah. with their mind, right? Mm-hmm. Like, otherwise, they wouldn't be doing the things they're yeah. doing. It also seemed like, um, what's his name, the. Kai, the bad guy? Yeah, mm-hmm. bad guy. It seemed like he was remote controlling all of them at once. Yeah, which must be difficult. The it, more you have... The more you have, the more complex it's going to be. Mm-hmm. So maybe, like, the more zombies he has <laughs> out, the less effective each of them are. Yeah. On the flip side, the more people they had using cheat control, it seemed like the better it was. Mm-hmm. It's all for one and one for all, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think Poe's mom's still alive? We talked about this last episode, too. But just seeing it again here, 
I don't, you know, I was like, I don't know, but I could see if we're going to keep going to sequels. Like, there's another one of these coming out, right? Four? Mm-hmm. I wonder if they go in that direction or not. I don't know. I mean, we it's one of those things where you don't see her death, mm-hmm. I don't believe. Yeah. But, like, you also assume that him going and killing all the pandas at the one point, yeah. like, his dad's also dead because he was defending and yeah. buying her time, and then he kind of shows up here. I guess you don't want to so. take all of Shin's accomplishments away. <laughs> sure, yeah. And you, and you don't want to, like, I don't know. It, yeah. you, you could do it, but I feel like you might lose a little bit of like okay. what all happened to with some of that. Yeah, sure. Like yeah. not even just him, but like what Poe and the dad. I agree. Gone through I almost too. think like it would be lesser if they go that direction. But sometimes whenever you're incredibly popular and you get a lot of sequels, you're like, all right, what can we do? So I don't, I don't know. Sure. I mean, you could do something where like you know Uwe was dead here, mm-hmm. like con- contacting the spirit realm in some way where he could have a communication with his mom, but it's yeah. not that we sure. bring him back either. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe there needs to be some kind of connection. Like he seemed to have a lot of chi, right? And he made that chi dragon, which is really cool. I love yeah. that. Um, but maybe there's like also a an amount of chi and control you need to have, and it's not just a matter of wanting to go back, but you need to also be able to have that energy maybe, to be able yeah. to come back too. Mm-hmm. And she might not have that, mm-hmm. you know. So it or kinda, like technique kind of thing. Yeah. Right? So then it's not just like well, Kai can come back and Tai Long can come back, and you just name off every villain that you yeah. have that's in the spirit realm. Right I know. I, I really did love the chit chat gag. Just chitty, because chitty, 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 chitty. it is the third movie. He's like, ah, yeah, you guys all have your motivations. Yeah, you have your monologues. Like, let's, come on, let's, let's get fight. to the fight. Yeah. He's a bit like uh, Goku in that way. Mm-hmm. He just wants to fight. Let me fight now. I'm bored. You're boring me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad, but I love the gag of Master Shifu, who's like been training under Master Uguay for a long time. And yeah. now he's training all of them. And he's passing it on. And he's like, yep. he spent 30 years in a cave to find inner peace and yep. learn his chi and everything and now I'm gonna do that and then a day or two later I don't know how long it was of yeah. you know, him being gone but here let's say within a week he's just like I've mastered chi like, I love it oh. uh, yeah. I, I kind of want him to go <laughs> rat rats <laughs> where'd, you, where'd you get that stick Master Hugo gave it to me oh. like, <laughs> dang it it's okay I have a bigger one <laughs> I so love good. that uh, it was pretty funny I love the pandas like all the pandas and the way they fight and yep. stuff too mm-hmm. it uh that's the scene that I'd been thinking of was like the pandas fighting and stuff too. Okay, I'm like, gotcha. when does that come into play? All right. And it, and it just, I'm like, I gotta wait, I gotta wait. Gotcha. That makes sense. Um, but it reminds me a lot of uh, Three Amigos. Mm hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. Love Three seen Amigos. Like, like a long time ago. But a lot of their concept for the final battle was that, okay, these guys are coming in to take out the three of us. But so they make like a hundred of the same costumes they all wear and just everybody in the village is wearing the same costume running around shooting guns at these people they're like they're over there oh they're over there they're over there and they don't know where they are and then they come out like Remember how are you everywhere right. and then I'm all the village comes out wearing the <laughs> I'm Spartacus so it was just it wasn't a hundred percent because most of the time they're chasing Poe yeah. but it kind of gave me that feeling of it's like we can all be you it's like, well, you can't be me but you can be you but I was like you yeah. distract him while I sneak up and get him the finger <laughs> I also like uh, Tigress's uh, growth over the movies too because they talk about like in that moment there is like he taught us who we were and her thing was a, a friend and in the very first movie she's much colder than oh, yeah. Yeah. a lot of the others you know Mantis you know is being Seth Rogen and stuff I think he's a little <laughs> bit more yeah relaxed and stuff and kind of talks to <laughs> even Crane kind of gets along with him a little bit more but Tiger yeah. seems very cold shoulder yeah. and over the course of these three movies she yeah, yeah changes the way she is a lot more. She softens. Yeah. yeah. Even you were saying like in the second movie that you felt that there was like a romance thing that they were doing yeah. or something, right? Where it just it's much different than the first movie. Mm-hmm. And I think that's because of Poe. And I, yeah. I just like that they kind of shed light on yeah. Me too. her growth right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you have the moment of uh you know Master Chief would be like, My last class, you're gonna teach him. He does terrible. But then you get here where it's like he's learning the student. Mm-hmm. And it's about and it's the same thing Shifu had to do in the first movie where yeah. he couldn't teach Poe like he taught yeah. Tigress. He took him and did the dumpling training. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did other things and to then get po him there. And then took that experience right? and trained the other pandas. How'd you get up there? Oh, I just, this is where he keeps the cookies. <laughs> you know? So he just <laughs> up there out of nowhere, you know? Yeah. yeah. My, favorite, my favorite gag with the pandas was the hidden hug guy that was like in the leaves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> out of the snow? Yeah, that was really I funny. don't know who you are. <laughs> He's just so nice. He wants to hug everybody. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh. Dang, there was a gag or a joke in here. That really got me. There was a few of them in there that were just real funny. Yeah. I, I love the Uguay stick one. I have a bigger one. Mm-hmm. Like I, I think that one's funny. 
There's there's a few with like uh, his dads between the two dads and stuff, just things that oh, they yeah. say. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I laughed more in this than I thought I would because I just don't remember a lot of the jokes and everything too. Definitely. Yeah. Um, it's like looking in a fat mirror. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. The, the when they first meet, and it's like, I've been I've been looking for my son. It's, oh man, I lost my father. Uh, I hope uh. you find your son. I hope you find your father. <laughs> yeah, and they're like and everyone else too. It's like the audience, like oh my gosh. <laughs> but you feel bad for his dad. Uh, uh, shit, what's his name? Pink. You feel bad for him a little bit too, because like I could understand that. Like you oh, yeah. found this kid and you've raised him and it's also not necessarily like Poe's dad was like it's not like he just gave him away and he didn't want him there it wasn't was a, like he was an absent father or no anything like it was that. a crazy situation like he could have thought he was dead you know yeah. he had no idea where he went his wife's gone he lost, <laughs> yeah. felt like he lost his son and his wife yeah. like he didn't he, even he know said in one moment I lost yeah. everything yeah he didn't even know that his son was alive until the universe sent him yeah. a message so right Uruguay was like right. That and we watched yeah. that right, kind of in the in the second movie where it's like, <laughs> my son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that until he said it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I I, just, I like that they tied that in a little bit. Kai's also modeled after the. Uh, you remember Eric, Eric Calvin? You might not, because I don't know how long it's been since you've seen the first one. But in Kung Fu Panda One, mm-hmm. the very first thing we get is like talking about the this great panda warrior kind of thing. Yeah. And it's in a 2D animation. Yeah. And he's like, huh, we shall fight, you know? And it's, it's very short, but he then fights a whole bunch of guys. Yeah, I love like, the animation in his, his, like, the big bad guy in that, after he fights a bunch of villains, is a kind of horned uh, bull ox-looking okay. guy. So Kai's modeled like, after him. So I Kai's couldn't like, remember uh, whether I was just remembering, like, previews of this okay. or from that. But now that you mentioned that, like, I, I felt like I knew Kai's... Like his face or something yeah. from this art style before. Yeah, it's just the big horns. Yeah, and it yeah. colors the world. Like in the stories of Kung Fu was, you know, like maybe like passed down orally or something like that. It's like, yeah. you know, characters like that. So when he's thinking about him being the awesome dragon warrior, he's putting himself against these legends of yore. Yeah. And even now, like, you know, it's been 500 years. So like, mm-hmm. Kai. It's like, yeah. who? And like, who? no one knows who this yeah, guy yeah. is. And then you say, Ugwe. It's like, oh, Ugwe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's now, been a long time. I liked his fighting style. I, maybe it's the one that is the... Like, he's got a cool weapon, but I don't associate that weapon with his animal. As opposed to, like, especially last ep, uh, episode. <laughs> last movie's villain, the, uh, you know, the... Like the, the feather blade and the feather blade. It felt like a lot more integrated. Whereas this was just like, he can hold you down and hit you with the horns. You know, that's cool. But in terms of, like, how a bull fights, it was just kind of like... Also, he has the Blades of Chaos. Yeah. It kind of felt like a little bit cool. Well, in the first one, too, he didn't really have a weapon. He was more well, just hands, too. Yeah. So I got two. Sure. Sure. But that's yeah. how cats fight. But I mean, yeah, and he also, he had the cat <laughs> speed, the cat runs, <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. I suppose you're right, Calvin. No, right. Bulls use the horns. Yeah. So they don't not, stand up and punch. Yeah. <laughs> and I can separate, like, my enjoyment of a character with my enjoyment of their specific, like, moveset. But moveset-wise, I think I like the villain less movie more yeah so you're ranking villains just the move sets which I, well, I was most excited by in, in this all three of these movies now and going into a fourth sure yeah. I, I, it's like it's like the porcupine arrow thing oh, yeah. that's just so cool it's a fun yeah. creative idea yeah. I, it's I, something I, you can't do with it's pizza. separate from my enjoyment of everything else sure I just really love that I, I always love Poe's excitement too for things where it's yeah. you know the first movie when he's there he's like oh, you're Tiger yeah. you're Viper and, you're, and he's like so excited and then here you have like you're the, the twin master badgers exactly. and they're double gong boom that's yeah. it <laughs> he's so excited yeah. he just got hit with it like, and that only works weapon. if it's legitimately cool yeah, sure. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't ring true if Poe's excited by nothing for the audience, but sure. We look at it, we're like that's so cool. Yeah, so I mean, it validates him. The double we- the double attack wasn't that. It was just two sticks hitting him in the head. True. So I was like, <gasps> but yeah, yeah. The, the double gong real attack. Cool. I just think it was yeah. a creative mm-hmm. way of using that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And then, like, we didn't get to see bear, chicken, and croc fight at all or anything. They kind of got cheated up real quick. True. Yeah. So yeah. like, there's a few moments we there where that like, croc last. I almost said last episode. Last movie. Yeah. Ugwe would have been really but cool to watch. Fight. I wanted to see more Ugwe. Just more of him. That Ugwe sequence so where cool. that sequence where they went into the like derelict ship or whatever yeah. and then we're all being taken out really reminded me of the uh the Star Wars two D Clone Wars Grievous intro. Mm. When the Jedi are going in, he's just taking uh-huh. them out. Yeah. Uh Aaron, I imagine one of your favorite parts was 
I'm so worried for you. I can't even enjoy being right all the time. <laughs> <laughs> being like, right I, about everything. <laughs> I understand that. I got to have it. That was just so funny. It's such a funny series. Yeah. No, it, it is. is. There's a really good mixture yeah. of like humor and stuff, but then also like good emotional moments yeah. through throughout all three movies. I think yeah. too. And Poe's such a, a fun hero character because once you get past the first movie, he's kind of like free from fear in a way, just by his personality. And uh, it's just a you know, it's, well, like, he, it's like the All Might thing. All Might's always smiling so that the kids looking at him can always feel things are going to be okay. And Poe just does that naturally. Sure, I think he finds the confidence that he doesn't have in the first movie. Yeah. And you see that a little bit whenever it's like, well, now you need to teach. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's like, oh, I can't teach. Yeah. Just like whenever he was like, well, now you must. All right, how about we, how about we use, I'll train on this thing. It's like, yeah. we use that for the kids and to prop the door open when it's hot, you know? like. And that's true of all the pandas, it seems. Like, there's no shame in that village. Like, no one is looked down on. Everybody's sure. just allowed to be themselves. They're who they are yeah. kind of thing. And he kind of pushed them a little bit further mm -hmm. on who they were. It, I did read a thing on there that said that... Uh, to get a good feel of pandas, they went and like watched pandas a little bit too to kind of see like how they operate and what they did oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Just to I love, try to make it feel panda y. I love videos of little pandas that are trying to be like corralled by their workers and they just are tenacious in their clumsiness. Yeah. I love it was like we don't walk, we roll. Yeah. <laughs> pandas just fall out of trees from like super far and just get up like Whoop! Yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they really do. They like fall on their head and roll down the hill, and they just get up yeah. and look around, and they just walk they back over. Bamboo all day. So, they uh, sit on their butt, yeah. like this. What's like they're they, like, so peaceful. Lackadaisical, or whatever is that the word. Lackadais. Lackadaisical. Like yeah. they're so peaceful and so bereft of like real threat sometimes that like they're bad at. Mating, you yeah. know, because if they were good at mating, they would overpopulate and take all the resources. So natural selection has made it so they're not very good at it. <laughs> they're just bad at mating. Yeah. Yeah. There's are. certain animals in the animal kingdom that they, are really bad at mating because they're they so just, successful in other areas. They have one like little cub per litter, basically, yeah. a lot of times. And then they just forget that they have it. So they yeah. just forget to feed it sometimes. Like they're they're very just not great at living. <laughs> it's not a panda, but there's another animal that, like, its mating call disgusts the females. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh. I said, Stop doing that. Why do you think it works? What What has convinced you? Oh, man. That, that is effective. Yeah. Probably humans. Probably. Yeah, maybe. Hey, baby! Uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, I, I really like the, uh, I'm not a good teacher, I couldn't even teach Tigress Kung Fu, and she already knows Kung Fu. <laughs> that was great, too. Jack Black's just such a good voice for Poe, too, I He's think. Yeah. Like he just he does a great job. as that a perfect, Absolutely like, high-energy naivete. Yeah, and I liked uh, Brian Cranston as his dad, too. Yeah. Like, I thought he was oh, a good yeah. addition to that. And J.K. Simmons always plays an amazing bad guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you almost feel like J.K. and, and Brian Cranston, like, they, you could pretty much cast them to do, and they'll do anything because they're that good of actors. Like, Jack Black is, like, casted well for this. You know, that makes sense? Like, you only so get, you, you, like, you're, sure, you're, could David, could David... You're, you're saying, like, if we swapped J.K. and Brian Cranston's roles, yeah. they still would have been great. They still would have been great. It still would have been fantastic, yeah. yeah. But if you get, I don't know, if it, Charlie Day for Poe, like, it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> it wouldn't be the same. No. No. No, he's just casted well for this role. Mm -hmm. I don't know who else you could do that would be like, who else would be a good Poe? You know, it's hard Chris to Farley would have been a good one in, in a, the alternate universe, you know. Yeah. There was a certain element of uh, the great white ninja. Uh, sure. Whenever like Poe's like, up in the astral plane, like, he can't <laughs> control himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beverly Hills Ninja, that's what it is. Great white ninja. Yeah. But I can see him. You know, he He also had that feeling of like, a big guy that was too athletic for his frame, <laughs> you know. Sure, I get you. I get what you mean. Mm -hmm. Dude, he when he passed, he Maybe was John Candy. He's like thirty-two or something like that. He was, like, he was younger he than what we are. It's crazy. Oh, well, dude, yeah. You ever yeah, hear you guys? You ever hear Adam Sandler's tribute to him? Mm -mm. He did it in his Netflix special. He did it on SNL too. He just it's just it's a fantastic song. But one of my favorite parts of the song is. They're talking to him. They're like, hey, man, if you keep going like this, you'll end up like Belushi and Candy. And he goes, those guys are my heroes. I don't care. He's like, that's what that's something he would say to them. <sighs> yeah. 
Anyway, I think he could have done it too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Well, yeah, I'm now curious. I mean, I, I haven't seen a trailer or anything for Kung Fu Panda 4. I'm not sure if there is one, uh, but I'm curious what huh. order they go I haven't with. seen one if there is, but yeah. I feel like we're getting so close there must be because I think it comes out in February or March. Okay. Well, at this point, maybe I just will try to avoid it. Yeah. Because I have no, no idea where they go. Just wait until the movie comes out and watch it then. I think so. Yeah. Could be fun. Yeah. Definitely be fun. Well, I'll have to hit that up next time. Or whenever it will be out and available for us to react to. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on us checking out Kung Fu Panda 4. Uh, if you want to see other movies, uh, or if you miss the other Kung Fu Pandas, you can uh, find a list of all of our stuff here on the channel. We have playlists for our movies, mm-hmm. and we have our full lengths, early access, and more at blindwave.com. Mm-hmm. And I believe you can click the link over here or down there. It's all over. Just Both. A lot of places. Start clicking. <laughs>